It seems like we're gonna be getting a new expansion pack for The Sims 4 kinda soon because The Sims team has been teasing one. And right now it's looking like it might be some sort of like family based pack. So with that information, a lot of us have been really crossing our fingers and hoping that it might be similar to Generations from The Sims 3. Generations was a pack that was basically focused on adding gameplay to like every life state. So there was a lot of new teen gameplay, like teen parties and more clubs and like prom and stuff. There was some new memories features. They added dating for the first time and I'm not not kidding, this is where like the date system came into The Sims 3. You could like hang out with people, but it wasn't like a date until the Generations pack came out. They added boarding school, there was like strollers for babies and toddlers, there was just a ton of stuff for all ages. And these are all things that I feel like a lot of us really, really want in The Sims 4, although we do have, you know, like, um, dating already, luckily. But all of that other stuff I'm really longing for in The Sims 4, and it's making me kind of want to go back to The Sims 3 and revisit a lot of that stuff and sort of show you you what was so fun about it. So I made a little family and I thought I might show you some of my favorite things that came in that pack. I feel like I should warn you that The Sims 3 at times to an unprepared eye is a little scary looking. So brace yourselves. Welcome to The Sims 3 Generations. Now I did not build this house. I tried to warn you. I told you it was a little bit scary. This is just one of the base game houses that came with Sunset Valley. Um, so yeah, <laughs> just ignore that. I did place a few additional things down, like some random toys. I also put a few like playground equipment type things down because we have like tree houses, there's seesaws and slides and stuff. We don't have anything like this in The Sims 4. The best that we've got is swings, but the rest of this stuff we have nothing similar to. So in this household, I've got a Sim named Kim <laughs> and her three kids. She has a teen, a child, and a toddler. And I thought that we could join the daycare career because this was like my favorite part of the entire Sims 3 Generations pack. You could run a daycare from your house and like parents would come drop off their toddlers and you would just take care of them all day, which I guess sounds like it wouldn't be very fun. It is a lot of work and your sim makes like very little money doing it, but it's kind of a fun feature. So in that amateur babysitter career, we work from nine to seven. You get a 100 simoleon, oh my God. <sighs> I'll get to this. <laughs> you get a 100 simoleon stipend per week, and then you get paid like 100 simoleons-ish by the parents when they pick their kids up. Uh, this is the mascot. That's from university. They come to your house and try and get you to enroll in university. That's like a thing that happens when you first make a news <laughs> Oh, oh, and some other notable things about The Sims 3 is that you have newspaper delivery. Uh, a little kid comes every day and brings you a physical newspaper. There's also telephones, like, like landline phones in The Sims 3. You can use these to like call Sims and stuff. And, and most importantly, The Sims 3 has cars. Oh, look at how cute this is. The siblings are playing on the seesaw. Okay, well, because we don't have like school or anything today, I thought it might be kind of fun to teach the teen how to drive because you can do that. So I think I might start with that one. I think we're gonna have to hire a, oh my God. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is a portal to the future. Please disregard. That is from a pack called Into the Future. New save things. You get, you know, <laughs> future portals and university mascots. Just please ignore, disregard. We're gonna teach Liam how to drive. Oh, also in The Sims 3, teens were shorter than adult Sims. You can see he's like a little bit smaller than his mom. And they had different clothing options and stuff, which is not necessarily a good thing. Like the fact that they had less clothes is not ideal, but um, that is true. <laughs> because they were smaller, they had different clothes. Okay, I have to call a babysitter for Paige, but that's fine. I'll just, if I need cheater needs, I'll cheater needs. It'll be okay. Anyway, I'm teaching the kid how to drive. They actually like go in the car and you can watch them. They sort of drive um, not the best. <laughs> And you can see this little bar above his head. That's like his progress in learning how to drive. So you have to do it like a decent amount. In The Sims 3, there was kind of like a emphasis on teaching the younger Sims how to do stuff. Like with toddlers, there's actually negative effects from not potty training them and stuff. The toddlers had like three major, oh, we just got driven through by a taxi. <laughs> but the toddlers had to learn how to walk, talk, and use the potty. And it happened again, okay? Cars are just driving straight through us today because we're going a bit slow. But if you didn't do that, if you didn't like potty train, train your kid or teach them how to talk, they would age up with negative traits. In this game, you actually have five traits, not just three like The Sims 4. And The Sims obviously gain traits as they're aging up. So the toddler has just two. When they become a child, they get one more. When they become a teen, they get one more. And if their grades are bad, for example, or if they weren't properly cared for as a toddler, there's like a negative
negative consequence in that you can't pick their trait, so it'll just randomize you a bad one instead of letting you pick. So like, if you didn't potty train your toddler, they might end up evil or something. You also had that effect from pregnancy as well. When your sim is pregnant, they need to have like a good pregnancy and like read the pregnancy books and like be in a good mood. Otherwise, they might end up having their baby born with like only one trait you can pick or whatever, because normally babies are born with two traits. It's just kind of fun to have the gameplay like actually affect how your sim turns out. Right now, the only thing about that in The Sims 4 is like maybe with the parenthood pack, being able to teach your kid to be responsible or whatever. This is just kind of fun. It feels more substantial. Also, he leveled up his driving skill. <laughs> Learning how to drive is an exciting yet embarrassing rite of passage for any teen. You've just taken your first step towards independence. Okay, can we stop? <laughs> I'm over it. You're taking too long. Okay, we're back home. Oh, no, I'm not. Where am I? That's not home. Where did you stop at? Why did you do that? Come back home. Who knows if the babysitter's actually doing anything? I don't even know where the kid is. Oh, okay, that's fine. He put the kid in this playpen. This playpen is kind of, um, honestly, it feels like cheats. <laughs> this was like Sims 3 store content. Uh, basically, this item probably costs like over a dollar for just this one singular thing in real life money. But if you put your toddler in it, they can teach themselves to talk. Same thing with this. They can teach themselves to walk in there. One of the other things that I really enjoyed was the ability for teens to sign up for like so many after school classes. There was like loads of clubs, music club, art club, newspaper club, study club, debate, drama, shop, and sports. Like they could gain so many skills from all of these. And I much preferred having like more options. I hate to say it, but the other thing is that uh, <laughs> there was boarding school and I'm really considering sending one of my kids to it. I've got enough money. I could probably afford Smugsworth prep school. I might send Alice to it. This is gonna be moderately inconvenient for us because I won't be able to play with the other kids stuff, but um, if I send Alice to Smugsworth prep school, <laughs> She'll just go away. Look, listen, listen, this might sound bad, but at times it was very useful. Alice has been enrolled in Smugsworth Prep School. Alice should prepare for an elite education and high society norms. School transportation will arrive Monday at 9 a.m. So with those different boarding schools, if your sim went to them and stayed in them, oh, the kid has learned how to talk and I didn't have to do anything to help. <laughs> but anyway, with the kids going to boarding school, depending on the school they went to, they'd gain different skills. And then if they age up while in boarding school, they'll get a trait related to it. So I think if Alice ages up while in Smugsworth prep school, she'll become like a snob or something. She'll get like logic skill, probably charisma, stuff like that. I didn't used to do this very often because it was kind of glitchy, but The Sims 3 also came with, oh my God, she's up in the top. I didn't even notice that. <gasps> Look, she's looking out the window in the top of the tree house. Oh, I would love to have tree houses in The Sims 4. But I was going to say the generations also came with sleepovers. Like the kids could invite friends over for sleepovers and there was like a sleeping bag item and stuff. The sleeping bag item itself um, is actually kind of useful for other purposes. <laughs> like it's only a hundred civilians. So if you didn't want to buy a bed or whatever, you could just have that. Although the cheapest bed is 105, which isn't like that much more expensive, but it was nice to have a sleeping bag and the parties were kind of fun, even if they, you know, didn't work that well. It all sounds really good, but like in practice, uh, some of this stuff was kind of hard to do and use. Oh, and also the pack had this like potion skill. There was this whole thing about how your sim had an imaginary friend and if you worked hard enough on this potion thing, you could bring the imaginary friend to life and it became like a real human sim. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Looking back on this and explaining it again, it's really, uh, it's really quite something. But anyway, there is a potion skill that you can do. Oh, and bunk beds. Oh my God, this pack also came with bunk beds for the first time. Obviously we have bunk beds now in The Sims 4, but I'm sure you remember how exciting it was to <laughs> first get bunk beds. So this pack had them. I'm almost done teaching the toddler how to walk. I'm actually doing really well with her. <laughs> She's gonna age up really nicely with very little effort on my part because it's already done. Probably just try and cook up something for dinner. And then in the morning, Morning, we have our first day of work, which uh, is actually kind of scary. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about that. Oh, and this is kind of cute. So kids in The Sims 3, not just when generations, but like just in general, they would have like lifetime wishes pop up. This is basically the same thing as aspirations in The Sims 4. They would have these wants. Normally it's small things, like she might want to, you know, play on the seesaw or whatever, but occasionally they'll have like a serious lifetime wish pop up. And with this, if I pick it, it'll like choose her lifelong goal. But it's kind of cute because like over time, time in her life, she might get opportunities to pick one. When you age up into a young adult, you'll pick one for real, but it's kind of fun to like pick it now, even though um, 
taking it now kind of sticks me with it forever and she's only like a child but I just like how your sims life actually impacts I don't know their traits and their their goals and things like that it feels a bit more realistic in that way that's kind of a theme of the sims 3 it just sometimes feels a bit more realistic in gameplay oh my god i'm just now saving for the first time could you imagine if my game crashed and i lost all of this i'd still just upload it it would be like a 10 minute video it would be lacking but i can't it took me so long to set all of this up why why didn't i save sooner what was i thinking i know what game i'm playing this one can't be trusted oh my god i'm being robbed it's my first night in the game <laughs> Okay, well luckily I've got a burglar alarm. Yeah, this is a thing that The Sims 4 doesn't have either, so... <laughs> If you don't have the alarm and you don't call the police fast enough, they'll like actually steal your stuff. But luckily for us, Eugene Hunter is on the case. Well, this is kind of ruining our first night, if I'm being honest. I actually do miss this. <laughs> this part's actually kind of fun. Yeah, he's like actually gonna arrest her and take her away. Look, watch. Yeah, so if you play The Sims 3, make sure you buy one of these. <laughs> the burglar alarms are kind of expensive, but make sure you get one because you'll be glad that you had it. Look, bye Twyla Summers. Thank you. It was nice to see you. Have a good time. Try not to rob me next time. I've got you now, burglar. Stay here by the car while I survey the house. Yeah, well, they didn't steal anything, so it's fine. Okay, is everybody back in bed now? <laughs> they did go back to bed autonomously. That's good, I guess. And the baby didn't wake up. That doesn't actually happen that often. I've streamed The Sims 3 like three times in the past couple weeks, so I've played like probably 10 hours of gameplay. I haven't gotten robbed a single time, if that is at all reassuring to you, but it is funny that it happened just now. <laughs> the game paints a good time for it to happen. Okay, so the kids have to wake up now, and I probably probably should have gone a little bit faster because there's actually a physical school bus that comes to get them at eight and I didn't take care of like any of my needs, which is maybe a mistake. Yeah, so the bus is here and then the kids have to like get in the bus and ride it to school. Oh, you know who doesn't have to take the bus to school? Alice, because she's going to boarding school. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Okay, well, you'll be leaving at nine. You want to adopt a stray? Get a baker's half dozen stand? Oh, the kids can do like bake sales. This thing right here is basically this little object, but your kids can like bake stuff on the little oven and they can make muffins and things. Anyway, I wasn't kidding. You can actually see him in the bus, look. <laughs> He's the only kid on the bus, but he's riding the bus to school and it goes like all the way to the school, which actually is kind of nearby to us. And then he like gets out and spends the day, you know. The other kids are all here. Not Alice though, cause she's going away. And I'm guessing that any minute now, yeah, the kids are coming. Okay, so these are the kids that we have to take care of. There's only two, I think, in the first level of the daycare career, but we're gonna have to take care of the two toddlers all day, <laughs> so wish us luck. That's why I placed all these things down, just to make my life a little bit easier. Goodbye, everyone. I'm off to Smugsworth Prep School. Don't forget to call me while I'm gone. I'm still your kid, even though I'm far away. Oh, no. This? Did you hear that little sound in the hearts? That's because Leighton here is, is attracted to my sim. Um, Kim wants to date him. You cannot just date the parents of the kids you are babysitting. Okay, well, the kids all have, like, little needs. I can see that Sam is in a bad mood because he's smelly. I think he was also hungry. Sandy here is also hungry, so I'll feed her. I probably should bring my own kid downstairs. <laughs> Oh, my Sim wants to get married. Maybe I can marry Leighton or whatever his name was. I don't know. That's an idea. Okay, I need to change their diapers. They smell disgusting. And then you get paid more if they're like in a better mood longer during the day. Oh, I forgot about Alice. Oh no. I meant to watch as she went away. Yeah, she's just gone now though. Like I can't click on her. <laughs> She's just there at Smugsworth Prep School. I can remove her from boarding school if I want to, like really easily on the computer, but I don't want to. I would like her to stay away. <laughs> I've got enough kids to deal with right now. I don't need her to. Your mood is going south. You'd like to be having more fun right now? Okay, that's a you problem. Play in the playpen. Something else that's kind of cute is that if you have two kids in this playpen, they can like talk to each other so they can make friends as toddlers when otherwise they can't. Oh my God, and my like all time favorite thing, the best feature of the pack and the thing that I so desperately want in The Sims 4, there's strollers. You could take the kids like on a little walk. I probably shouldn't do that right now because it's probably wrong of me to like leave the house when I'm supposed to be babysitting. But I wonder if I could like, oh, I can't take the other kids. Okay, I'll do it after work. I <laughs> probably shouldn't do it now. Oh my God. Sometimes you get pop-ups in this game, not just from generations, but just in general to like do after school assignments or like it offers to have your kid do a field trip and they'll like go to the museum in game or whatever. This one wants me to go to France, interview a sim and then come back. So no. <laughs> 
Uh, there was a pack called World Adventures where you could travel to like three different places. It was actually quite cool, but I don't intend to go to France for school. Thank you for offering though. Maybe if you paid for it, I would, but right now I'm not interested in doing that myself. The kids all seem to be okay. I just fed them. My kids are pretty happy. And then obviously as you level up in this career, they have like more kids that you have to take care of. They'll be like even children eventually. She's playing in the dollhouse. I might actually start teaching her to walk or something. That might be kind of useful of me. I may as well. But look at how cute the little animations are when I teach her how to walk. Isn't that adorable? I love The Sims 3. <laughs> this is my childhood right here. I am obsessed with The Sims 3. Okay, our teen has finished school, but he is sat on the floor at school doing his homework. You probably should do that though. If I were you, I wouldn't want to go home either. <laughs> There's like so many kids there. That would not be a very quiet homework environment. Okay, you can go home now. You finished. Also, thankfully the parents are coming to get these kids soon. They should be here anytime. Yeah, there we go. Daycare, end of day report. Sandy, okay. Sam, great. What? Okay, well, I made 200 simoleons today, which is pretty good. I might sign up for like after school art club or something. My Sim wants to sign up for an after school activity. Oh, and here, look, this is the kids coming to take. What are you doing? <laughs> he just took my kid out of the playpen. Okay, well the parents are here to take their kids home. They'll be back again tomorrow. But Liam signed up now, so after school on Mondays and Thursdays, he'll have art club. He can kind of sign up for other classes. There's some that are on the same days, so it like blocks me out. But I could join like newspaper club if I wanted to, because it's not on the same days. I really like this feature. The children have this option too, but they have a little bit less. I think kids can only join scouts and ballet, but it's still kind of a fun feature. I don't really care about like actively playing these things. I'm more interested interested in just having like the story of like, oh, my Sims in newspaper club and he goes there on Tuesdays and he gains the writing skill. Like that's more important to me than if I had to like actually, I don't know, do gameplay myself. Rabbit holes are fine in this case. Although I will say I do actually really enjoy the active daycare career. I think it's kind of fun. I really, really, really want to go on a walk, but it's like 9 p.m. and it's raining. Is now like not a good time to use the stroller? Probably not, but I think I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, it's fine. Sure, the weather's bad, but like, who cares? Look how cute this is. <laughs> Isn't that just adorable? I'm taking the little toddler on a walk. Oh, um, and, and there's horses. <laughs> Sims 3, if you have the pets pack, there's horses and sometimes you'll see just like wild horses walking around. Yeah, this game is just so fun. I love The Sims 3. My two greatest wishes for The Sims 4 are horses and strollers. <laughs> oh my God, I don't even think I'm kidding. At this point, I'm dead serious. I would love that. If we got horses and strollers, I would be happy. I don't really expect the horses part, but I think the strollers part isn't too unlikely. What are you doing? You're in the fire station? Why did you go to the fire station? At 11.30 at night? Okay. I guess I do live across the street. I didn't really notice that. <laughs> the Sims 3 also had an active firefighter career, not in the generations pack, but in the ambitions pack. What are you doing? Put the kid to bed. Put Paige in the crib. Okay, you're not putting Paige in the crib. I have work so early in the morning. <laughs> People are gonna come here in the morning and you're not gonna be fully rested. Go to sleep. Okay, well that my friends is just a few of my, what are you doing? What is your problem? Oh, you smell. Okay, change diaper. Anyway, that my friends is just a few of, oh, you didn't put the kid in the, uh, oh my God, that is the imaginary friend, by the way. They can play with it. And then when it gets older, when they're like kids, if they're close enough to it, it like walks around. Oh my God. I don't even want to get into this, but that's from generations too. As I keep trying to say though, that is just a few of my favorite features that came with generations pack. I hope that seeing this kind of gives you more of an idea, like why a lot of us want this stuff. I mean, things like more playground equipment, tree houses, more after school activities for teens, strollers and stuff for babies. There's even some new gameplay stuff for elders. All of those things are just features that I really desperately want in The Sims 4. I keep describing it as like family gameplay, but it's not really like family stuff in the sense where it's like a family interacting together. At times it is because you're like teaching your kid to drive or whatever. But mostly this pack is focused on like life states and building out the different parts of your Sims lives to make different age groups more substantial. So when we describe it as family gameplay, it's not so much like family gameplay as it is game play for like family players. The kind of people who like to play legacies or like live in big households with a lot of Sims. People whose Sims have kids often. Cause sometimes you might play with like single Sims only. If you never play with like toddlers, you probably wouldn't care about a pack like this too much. But for a person like me, I love this kind of thing. And I'm like really, really hoping for stuff like this in this upcoming expansion pack. They haven't actually given us a ton of info on this expansion pack yet. They've just like really lightly teased it. I made an entire video talking 
talking about that teaser, so I'll link that down below if you want to go and watch it. And of course, as soon as we have any new information, I will make a video and let you know. They're gonna be doing a live stream in a couple of days on their Twitch channel. I don't really know what to expect out of this. They said it's gonna be news about like all of the Sims franchise, like including the Sims Mobile. So I don't have my hopes up too high for like a ton of Sims 4 announcements or even any Sims 4 announcements at all. But that's gonna be on Tuesday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. You can follow the Sims on Twitter and Twitch and stuff to get those sort of notifications. But if anything good comes from that live stream, I will of course let you know. And I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. I actually did an entire Generations Let's Play in The Sims 3 a few years ago. So if you wanna watch that, I'll put the playlist in the end card. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Look, I know The Sims 3 is a little bit ugly, it's a little bit laggy, it takes forever to load, it doesn't run that well, but she does have a lot of fun gameplay.